Okay, hey everyone and welcome to another Class 66 Rocks Stobart review. Now in this review I'm going to be taking a look at an Oxford diecast model uh, but it isn't part of the Oxford haulage range um, which some of my other reviews have been based off. Um, now as you remember the Oxford haulage range packaging um, the cardboard strand was like a light turquoisey bluish colour but this one um, has got the Stobart cab wrap design around it. Um, so it's a bit different actually. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we've got today then. So as we can see today, we have a Scania R series. And what is a bit special about this one is that it's got a curtain side temperature controlled distribution trailer. Um, now, I did actually see one of these trailers up in Haywood in Manchester a while back um, when I went to the Stobart Chill Depot up there when it was open. Um, but I have got another model which you saw last week. Um, that was the temperature controlled distribution fridge trailer. So this is a curt inside version of the week before's. Um, and obviously the truck's a different name. So as you can see on the cardboard insert, like I say, um, it's surrounded by the Stobart cab wrap design um, and we have the words Eddie Stobart across the top just there. As you can see along the bottom here we have the stobartgroup.com website and the model itself is in 176th scale. Now if I just turn the box round, if you can see that there's a certificate there um, that says model SP043 and it's number 980 out of 2000 made. Um, so it is one of the pretty later models and um, when they were reaching around the 1000 mark with the distribution. Um, so it's not like an early version like number 23 or anything like that. So if I turn the box around now, um, we can see again we've got more of the Stobart cab wrap design on the box. And if I just turn the box round here, we can see it says code SP043 Eddie Stobart Scania Fridge Curtain Side. So what I'll do now, I will take the cardboard insert off very slowly um, as to not damage it. I'll just have to place it down a minute. Now I haven't had this particular truck out of the packaging since I've had it. Um, so what I'll do is, oh there we go, I was going to say I will pause the video but we've got into it. I'm taking the packaging off. But like I say it's because I've not had it like out properly that it's probably just sticking a bit. So as you can see here, we have the Scania R series and the Curtis side fridge trailer. It's quite lightweight, um, so it's not too heavy, um, it's not in between. So as you can see, it's presented with a plastic case um, covering the display stand. Now some of you um, who collect these models might want to display them with this plastic lid on or with the plastic lid off, with just a stand. Um, but the plan is that when we move house um, I'm planning on building a modern day depot or might base it on Stobart's actually and I'm going to, going to be using these models and my Atlas Editions models um, as part of the scene so they will be featured in a diorama I think it's called so once we've moved house if you keep a look out for that so what I'm going to do now I'm going to lower the model down again because I don't pull the lid up and otherwise it will might end up cause me to drop the model so I'll just pull it to the back of the camera for a minute while I take the lid off uh, as you can hear just there that's the lid just come off like so so what we'll do now we will take a look at the model so as you can see here we have the Scania R series with the temperature controlled distribution um, curtain side trailer. So first off, um, 
It's a six wheel tractor unit, um, hence the three wheels on either side, and it's also a top line model. Now, the top line model, as you can tell, um, I think it has a higher sleeper cab. I think it is. Um, I've been to some truck shows and had a look in a few. Um, I think we've, and they also have more cupboard space um, on the top here um, compared to the Highline version. But less about the interior and more about this model. So, starting with the front of the model, as you can see, we have the Stobart wording running across the top of the cab just there. Um, I'm not too sure whether that's in a dark green or a black. Um, it might be a dark green actually because I think it's got a yellow, very faint yellow outline surrounding the wording. Moving down, we can see we have the fog lamps or um, spot lamps, whatever you want to call them really, on the visor just here. And as you can see we have the mirrors and the blind spot mirrors on the left and right hand sides. Moving down now, we can see we have the Scania logo just there in silver. Um, and we also have some of the Stobart cab wrap design. Now, this particular truck is called Karen Patricia. Um, you may have seen it mentioned in one of my previous reviews a while ago when I first started collecting the Atlas Editions models. Um, I had one under the same name, but it had a different trailer with it. So, moving down now, we can see... We have the headlights and the indicators on the left and right hand sides. And we've also got some more fog lamps or spot lamps on the bottom bumper just there. And we also have the number plate which is PX60AZT. So turning the stand on the model round to the side now. As we can see we have the eddystobart.co.uk website um, across the top half of the cab just there. Um, now the Stobart website varies from time to time so I can't remember if that's the proper address or the first address. Um, as you may have noticed on the packaging it said stobartgroup.com. It's forever changing um, and I haven't actually logged into it in a few weeks but I will check it out at some point. As you can see we have the silver Stobart SRO design just there. And again we have the green Stobart cab wrap design and as you can see it just comes up to the window. Now you may have noticed on the model that I reviewed last week um, the wheels had white inserts but this week this particular model has grey inserts so I'm not too sure why that is um, but whether or not Oxford Diecast planned it like that I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, taking a close look at the model, we can see we have the fleet, not the fleet, the fleet number H123, and again the name Karen Patricia. So, turning the cab and the stand round to the back now, as we can see, we have the brakes, indicators, and reversing lights. Um, these are attached to the mud flap just there, and again we have the number plate PX60 AZT just there. So, focusing on the trailer now, um, as we can see, it's a triaxle trailer, hence the three wheels on either side. Um, this area at the front here, um, this is the fridge, um, and this is obviously where your temperature controlled panels are, etc. All under here. Um, I'm just going off experience with working in retail, as we have the Stobart chilled trailers delivering to us. Not the curtain siders, but the, like the fridge trailers. So I'll see you've got your temperature zones which are plus 1, plus 12 and minus 21. And as previously mentioned in my other video, um, your plus 1's like your eggs and your bread. Your plus 12's like your provisions, sort of items like dairy, cheese, butters, yogurts, ready meals etc. Anything you find in a chilled aisle. And your minus 21 as you can guess is frozen products. So like frozen pizza for example, frozen ice cream, you get the hint. So I'll be quiet about that. So as you can see on the trailer, we have the words Eddie Stobart running across the top. Uh, these are in green with a red outline around each of the letters. 
and underneath we have the words temperature controlled distribution. We also have some trailer straps running from the front of the trailer to the back and these are painted in black. So turning the stand and the model round to the back now. As we can see on the back we have the Eddie Stobart wording. Um, the stobartgroup.com website this time and the trailer type and number which is FET5703. We also have the brakes, indicators and reversing lights um, as well as some reflector panels or hazard warning panels whatever you want to call them and again the number plate PX60AZT. So moving the cab and the model well, no, the cab and the stand, should I say, round to the original position now. Um, now, I did have that little certificate somewhere, but I think it has actually dropped off. So, I will just have to leave that off, as obviously I can't show you that now, <laughs> because it's gone somewhere. So, as you can see, on the trailer, again, we have... The words Eddie Stobart in green with the red outline. Underneath that we have the words temperature control distribution. And again we have the very well detailed trailer straps in black running from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer. As you can see on the cab there's nothing much different that I can really show you on this side. Um, we've got the eddiestobart.co.uk website. Um, again the silver Stobart arrow um, and the green Stobart cab wrap design and also the fleet number and the name of the truck. So that's it basically. The Oxford Diecast Scania top line with fridge tra fridge curtain side trailer in Eddie Stobart Limited livery.